Good morning, everybody. I hope you've had a productive week. I have. Now, this is the normal morning update, but I am going to change it up a little bit. The editing time to do the pre-recording and then post it to do the premiere is adding enough that I think it makes sense to transition to once a week. So Thursday mornings, 8 a.m., that's going to be it for the time being. This is the normal update where I talk about what I've been doing, what I'm going to be doing, and answer any questions. This isn't a replacement for the build videos. I'm still going to be putting those out, but this gives me an opportunity to update you about where I'm at in the project and also gives me the benefit of staying accountable to you to make sure projects like the mill get done faster. So what have I been up to? I've been spending a lot of time scraping and primarily that's been related to the spindle head. So the spindle head mounts on the vertical slideways left side of the mill and I've scraped the box slides on the spindle head. I have t dialed in the shims so that they're you know, a really nice fit, sanded a little bit on the vertical slideways, and I'm really happy with the fit. I've also moved on to working on the temporary cross slide. Now this is the part that gives that final axis. I've got the up and down, left and right, and this is the axis that goes front to back on the mill. It's made of a piece of cold rolled steel with a few extra pieces of cold rolled steel that are bolted to it to form kind of a temporary uh, table for mounting things like the spindle boring jig. Based on the work I've done, I was at 32 and a quarter percent complete with this project. And now with the work that I've done in the past week, I've moved it up to 37 and three quarters percent complete with the project. So I am looking forward to in the coming days, I will be working on finishing up the temporary cross slide. After I complete the cross slide, I am going to turn my attention to the carriage feed screw support. This takes a bearing, I'll, I'll bore it and then insert a bushing that I can use to couple the Acme lead screw to the crank. And I do have a question for you if you have uh, idea, a strong opinion, let me know. I need to mount this on the right hand side of the mill, but the mill bed casting has a little bit of draft from where it was cast in the green sand. And I didn't machine that off or file it down. It is probably at about a five degree angle. So I'm wondering if maybe I should stick this into the shaper and machine that angle onto this part. I need to mount it in the lathe to get that diameter board where I can press in the bronze bushing. So I don't, not a hundred percent in love with that idea. I can also make like a wedge, like a little shim piece with the five degree angle built in that will go in between this and the middle bed but I, I guess I'm looking to you guys to uh, weigh in on the issue. If you, if you have a strong opinion, let me know. I probably won't get to that this week. That'll probably be early part of next week. And I look forward to seeing you guys again next Thursday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time. 